Okay guys, back again, and I wanted to show you where we're at right now. I went in and adjusted the drawer. I had to change the battery, so. Um, so here's the first drawer, here's the second drawer, and the top <clears throat> tray. Um, I'm trying to show you as we go around the side here what it looks like. And this is before um, I trim it off, and you'll see this. Um, it's all nice and smooth when we get done. So don't worry about if it has any little bit of imperfections, it'll all be hidden. So the next piece we're going to need, guys, you're going to need, grab another scrap piece of paper, and we're going to do um, the initial lid to the top of this, okay? It's going to go over this. So we need to cut a, uh, a five inch piece, and for this one I like to go just shy over. It doesn't have to be exact over, just a little bit over so that it covers any maybe imperfections. So I'm going to cut this. Again, like I said, throw the scrap over, you'll use it, and it's a 5x4. And again, I used uh, just a little exact, just a little over exact, just a hair, literally. And we're going to cut that. And this one's easy, it's just a score. Uh, so you got to grab the scoreboard again. Um... And I already again have this piece done. What you're going to do is score. You're going to score half an inch. So here's your inch. I'm going to move this out of the way. We'll get back to that. You're going to score half an inch. Now only on two sides, the two long length side. You're not going to do the width, just the length. And then you're going to bone fold it and score it down with your bone folder. So you're going to do that. I already have one piece ready. Um, this one's ready and you're going to bone fold it as you can see. Now you're only going to tape the inside to one. Okay? Just the inside to one, not both. You're going to want to tape this uh, as much as you can to where you don't see any of the paper that's not sticky. Okay, so this is your flap, and we're going to go to the back, and you're going to line it up, and lay it down. Now you got your flap, and you'll see when I say just a hair over helps, if it pops open on the side, just push it in a little bit, and as we get more sides on, you'll see that. So now we have the lid. So the, the lid flip piece is on, and it's not the only piece to the lid, so don't worry. Uh, we're going to move on to the next piece. The next piece you need is the sides, and I'm not even going to cut it. I'm just going to show you. You're going to need, um, let's do the back. Let's, yeah, let's do the sides. Um, you're going to need a side piece cut at, and I'm going to tell you so we don't have to keep going on this. You're going to need a side piece cut at... Three and a half. This is where your scrap papers once again come in handy. Three and a half by three. So cut two pieces, three and a half by three. And we'll get to the back in a minute. So you're going to take, keep the, I like the texture on the outside. You could do smooth if you want for like a flat, black, matte look. If you're doing a red toolbox, you're going to want the shinier side anyway. Because the red toolbox aren't dull, they're shiny. The black ones could be flat, matte because it's more stylish. Um, so you're going to tape both sides. I'm trying to cut down on videos, guys. I can't help it. I really can't. I had as much as I could prepped. You guys asked for it. I warned you it was real complicated. Putting this thing together the first time, it was like geometry class all over again. So now this is where your piece comes in here. Um, this is your side. And you want to go over just... Let me pull this back around a little bit. You want to go over just a hair. Put your finger in the corner, which helps. And you can see right where the edges are. See, there you go. So now you don't see anything. And if need be, take your drawers out. I usually keep them in for structure when I'm doing the sides. But you can go in on the sides and you can smooth it in. And then on that side of the tray. And let's put the other piece on here. Oops, okay. Tore a little bit at the bottom. Black magic marker. 
And then we're going to do the same thing to this side. And again, you're going to put your finger in the corner. Let's see. You put your finger in the corner here. I like doing this side. Let's go to the back of this side. Finger in the corner. Finger in the corner. There you go. So it gives a nice finished look on the sides. Mess it off a little bit once again. Not worried about it. scissors. Anytime you have white shines on when it's not completely solid, like on the inside, black magic marker. Nice touch. So now you got the nice smooth sides. Now we need to make the back nice and smooth and it supports this whole back piece. That piece um, is where's it at? Yeah, this piece is um, three by three and a half, and now we're gonna do three and a half by five, which I already cut. So I want to show you that I already have a three and a half by five cut. And again, I keep referring to my notes, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape that and add to the back. I think you guys are getting sick of seeing me actually do the um, scoring and taping, scoring and taping, and. Cutting, so I'm gonna try to cut it here as much as I can. It's gonna get complicated because I can tell you right now it's gonna be more in another video. Um, and then again, we can use use your fingers to eyeball and to hold the corners. So, there you go. That looks good. Of course, it's up a little bit on this back side. And again, scissors. I'm just rushed, it's not perfect. But that's okay, you guys can see I make mistakes. Um, so you got the back done, the side done. These are done. Now the drawers are not done and the, the, the lid isn't done yet. So let's get to the drawer front. You're gonna need to cut um, a one by one by five. This is your drawer front for this piece. And then you need a, um, for the first drawer. Then you're gonna need a two by five. This is two inches by five inches. One by five and then um, five by two. These are your drawer fronts. And then um, you're gonna cut some trim. And, and you can use glitter if you want or you can use a glitter piece of paper or a different color. I actually cut uh, two pieces and you'll see this as we put this on. I, do, I cut one piece at uh, three quarters of an inch. This is three quarters of an inch by uh, three quarters of an inch by five and then this one is a, a half an inch. Is it half an inch? I think it's half an inch. I think so. Yeah, this is a one and a half. Double check that. Yeah, three and three. One and a half, one and a half by uh, five, and this one is three quarter inch. One and a half by five, and then this is a uh, three quarter inch by five. So we're gonna actually put these on. And the next video is where it gets into the brads and the drawer handles. I can tell you that right now because we're running over, but that will actually do it. So we're gonna put the smaller piece. Uh, and I like the textured size out. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing with this piece. This is trim decoration. You don't have to put this on. I think it gives it a little more pizzazz. Uh, you can use the diamond plate embossing folder for this. It would be kind of cool. I don't particularly have that one. I wish I did, but I don't. So we get to this part and this is where your ruler and you're going to flip them over. Your ruler and your pencil is going to come in handy and you're going to see that in the next video. Um, so I'll see you in the next video.